Can you please tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Delali Dogwe. I'm a Ghanaian by birth, but I live in Spokane, Washington. And can you tell us what is uh, the problem that you were having before and the testimony that you would like to share with these wonderful people here today? I, as I said, I, I'm a Ghanaian and I came to Spokane five years ago because I have a son called Kelvin Ghana who was uh, in Whitworth University, but unfortunately he was involved in swimming pool accident and uh, he ended up in a hospital for brain injury. And in 2013, this happened in, uh, when he was 19 years in 2009. In 2013, I happened to hear about the anointing water service here, so I came in May. So really quickly, you mean to say that your son was involved in an accident causing a traumatic brain injury, putting him into a coma now for more than three years. And when he was in coma, because of the, that situation, I came here and I happened to have the anointing water and I took it along and believing God for healing and complete restoration. And... Uh, by God's grace, he's out of coma. This is him. And then he last year developed kidney stones, three big ones of size of almond seed. The doctors tried to use high frequency vibrator to crush it, but it affected his left kidney, which he was bleeding so much that they have to stop. They gave him seven pints of blood, he couldn't. And I have something small and anointing water that I came here for, small was left. And I went for it, stood by the bed, kept on praying and spray it, put some in his mouth. And by God's grace, in December, when the doctors were about to do the surgery again, they said to their amazement, everything was cleared. To God be the glory. Amen. What a wonderful testimony. Now, this is uh, his, all those little, little elements are all gone, and we are believing God. I pray that people of God, you stand with me so that we pray that he will get his complete um, restoration in his brain. Amen, amen. So now that, uh, that you've believed for your son's uh, healing with his kidneys and also that he's come out of that, uh, that coma, um, what is your advice to people here who uh, might be seeking a breakthrough in their life or healing as well? What advice can you give to them? People of God, let us all keep on trusting him. We have to believe. I was in my hotel in the night I was praying. Then I lay down and I realized that they said, doubt doesn't help. So we have to all drop doubt and believe God for healing. Complete restoration. Amen. Thank you so much.